What is up, people? What is going on? That's right. We in here. How y'all doing? All right, so we got the <clears throat> Resident Evil Showcase. You get, you know, the game's about to drop next month. I think it's the 7th of next month. And you guys know I am super hyped for this. So this is what this little showcase is going to be focused on. So I hope you guys enjoy. So 1440p, a whole nine yards. Let me know if everybody can hear it. Can you guys hear it? Well, I say what's up to everybody in the chat. Let me know if y'all can hear it. Can I hear the stream? <clears throat> what's up, Rob? What's up, King? Uh, Briar Reels, what's up, bro? Dun, 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 dun. Can y'all hear the stream? Can y'all hear the ticking? Can I hear the countdown tick thing? What's up, Sean? What's up, Locum? All right, cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Glad you guys can hear it. Spencer Paul. What's up, Spencer? It's been a minute. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Actually. Oh, you can't hear the clap tick. Okay. I want to say, y'all can hear it. I'm shocked. There you go. Should be out of here now. Should be able to hear that, yeah? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see what's up on this one. I ain't gonna lie, though, that last uh, demo they showcased for this game, uh, it was running on the PS4. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that shit was, like, next level, and it was running on PS4. You know what I mean? Like, she throws, like, the damn uh, the dresser across the room, and this woman is so... Yo, bro, the detail in this woman? Oh, my God. They killing it. I can't wait to see what's up. What's up, Dan? What is up, Samurai? Good to see you. Dom? <laughs> you know, you know, it's funny. Your name's Dom the Bomb. Um, I just saw that damn. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, Don, but the um, the Fast and the Furious new trailer. <laughs> oh my God! Can we talk about how this series is no longer believable at this point? Jesus, they literally threw everything in the kitchen sink at you in that one trailer. Billy, what's up? What's up, Dave? Yeah, it's been a minute, Dave. How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing good. In a minute. Uh -uh. What? Bro, they had magnetic cars. You had this. Man, look. Weird CGI when he jumped out the truck. <laughs> when the truck blew up. I was like, bro, what's going on here, man? What's up, Rev 4K? What up? Yeah, it was insane in terms of just not believable at all. And that's a fact. They need to join the MCU at this point. They're not even human. Like, Vin Diesel's not human. What he's doing, he's not human. Him and The Rock. I remember The Rock was holding, like, the truck and the helicopter together. You remember that? It was in Hobbs and Shaw. I'm like, bro, The Rock's not that strong. Stop. Y'all capping with the strength. <laughs> Uh, advertising for the showcase showed the woman feeding off the blood on Ethan's hand. Really? Hmm. I've got less than two minutes. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> Bro, he had like a super powered car in the last one. It was like a, it was the, basically the car was like a damn Superman. It was armored. It had all this crap on it and it took out the submarine. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Y'all, y'all really are pushing the suspension of belief with this. See what Hobbs and Shaw, both the rock and Jason didn't want to lose a foot, a fist fight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They didn't. What's good? Uh, 
What's good, Navels? What's up? I'll be happy when I get my glasses next month. No more squinting. Ah, one more month. Start doing things. The day before. Everybody's talking about that. I have not seen it. I gotta, I gotta see it. I have to see it. See what's up with that. All right, but we, uh, we about here, so. We doing things right, yeah. We doing things right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's go. You already know, Lobo. No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? Well, well, Ethan Winters. What the hell was that? <laughs> Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> hey everyone, and welcome to the second Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and I am so excited to be your guide through today's experience. We're going to hear from the Resident Evil team today, and they have so much new content for you. Another trailer, new gameplay, and more news for Resident Evil Village, which is right around the corner, up, G? coming to us on May 7th. We'll also be sharing the latest on the 25th anniversary of the series, and some fun surprises that go along with that, so stay tuned. To kick us off, I have the honor of introducing Jun Takeuchi, the executive producer of the franchise. こんにちはエグゼクティブプロデューサーの竹内ですこの度、えー、皆様のおかげでですねバイオハザードが無事25周年を迎えることができました本当にありがとうございます、えー、ファンの皆様に支えられての25周年思えばですね三上真嗣さんと25年前にこのタイトルを立ち上げた時こんなに長いタイトルになるかなっていうのはちょっと想像していませんでしたえー、これからもですね、えー、皆さんの応援とともにですねシリーズまだまだ続けていきたいというふうに考えておりますさて本日はですねシリーズ最新作にあたるバイオハザードビレッジのトレーラーもご用意しておりますエンターテインメントありホラーありの超大作となっておりますすごいボリュームのゲームなので皆さん覚悟してプレイしてくださいそれではトレーラーの方をご覧くださいどうぞこんにちは。
We thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! Oh. There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in the hack! Tomorrow we're all be dead. No, let me go! Chris? What the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters. Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. So she's the mother of the vampires and her brother's the uh, father of the Vikings? Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Oh, he did kill Mia. What? Okay, Chris killed Mia. That's interesting. There is so much to break down there. I know we cannot wait to find out what Chris's involvement is. Now in the last showcase, we promised that another demo was coming this spring. Something tells me it What's won't up, involve casual tea time with Lady Dimitrisk, but I don't think the internet would mind that. Let's pass it to Siyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village, to tell us more about that upcoming gameplay demo. Kanda-san, thank you so much for joining us again today. They're doing another demo. Thank you for the introduction, Brittany. Hi, everyone. I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Roscoe. Village has been created with the concept of a beautiful yet terrifying village in mind. And we have poured a passion into creating this experience for our fans. Of course, it also has the combat, resource management, and horror elements you expect from Resident Evil. We've also made sure there's plenty of gameplay content as well. In the previous showcase, we told you that we'd have another demo ready for you. Well, I'm happy to announce that the next demo experience will be available on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. In lieu of the game event that we were unable to hold, we have prepared a special day where you can experience Resident Evil Village. Here are the details on when it to be available. Oh, let's go. We doing this, people. 60 minutes, May 1st? We doing this. Y'all make sure y'all sure ready. May 1st, we doing this. I got to experience this. You're free to spend one full hour for both stages. Oh, that's fire. Which one you want to play. It's up to you while you spend your survivor horror what experience. Up, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners will also get early access as well. We've titled it Eight Hours in Village. Oh man, let's go. We have the details for you here. In honor of Resident Evil up, Village baby? being the eighth major installment of the franchise, you will have an eight hour window to try out the demo for 30 minutes. PlayStation players will have early access to the village section first, followed by the castle section. For the Ari Access players, feel free to also stream and share your playthrough to the world. We oh, hope a, that with your help, we will be able to show off the demo to everyone. And for the next demo, we hope that all players from all over the world will be able to enjoy Resident Evil Village. Finally, players will be able to preload the demo ahead of time. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners are able to pre-download the demo starting today. Oh, let's go! You preloaded today. Our official website for more details. We hope you enjoy this upcoming sneak peek at the next generation of survival horror. Oh, that's fire. I'm so torn where to spend my time. Do I spend it in the village or the castle? Let us know what your plan is. I'm probably but in, in the, the meantime, castle. what if I told you there's another surprise in store? Any guesses? Let's see if we can get director Morimasa Sato to tell us what he knows. Hi, Hi everyone. I'm director Morimasa Sato. 
I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you all about the much requested extra game mode included in Resident Evil Village, the Mercenaries. Mercenaries. For those of you hearing about it for the first time, it's a beloved extra mode featured in various games in the franchise. It's best known for high-speed arcade-style action, where you have to reach the goal within a certain time limit. Of course, we've also added some new touches to it. So let's dive into some of the additions we've made. What's up, Herky? Welcome. The first change is that we've added a shop. In this version of the Mercenaries, you can access the Duke's Emporium between areas. You're free to purchase new weapons with the money you collect, or upgrade your arsenal to fit your playstyle. I saw you eyeing that one. Weapons modifications. And we'll do thank you for your patronage. Start. Rest assured, you can expect this side mode to be just as fast-paced as the previous installments. Clear. You'll have to consider which weapons you'll take into each stage, and how you'll customize them. With a large arsenal of options to work with, it's up to the player to figure out what strategy works best for them. You're buying, stranger. Another change is the addition of abilities. Abilities can increase the damage of handguns. Or increase your movement speed. They can also make your guard stronger, each increasing the player's capabilities. Acquire new abilities to employ your own strategies as you fight your way through each stage. The Mercenaries in Resident Evil Village is a rich gameplay experience full of surprises, with special rewards for those who persevere. If you're looking for an additional challenge, we hope you're excited for this extra mode that's included with the main game. It's a challenging and rewarding bonus mode packed with content, so we hope everyone is looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'll probably skip the Mercenaries mode unless it's required for Platinum or something. It looks good, though. I remember Mercenaries being a little different, though. Well, not, well, as you know, if you haven't already heard, ways. Resident Evil has reached an impressive milestone. On March 22nd, the franchise celebrated its 25th anniversary. And like so many of you, I've been a fan since practically day one. Together, we've watched the franchise evolve from a series of survival horror games to a big umbrella of video games, movies, toys, board games, and more. Resident Evil RE Verse is just one of the many ways Capcom is celebrating that anniversary. Lots of you probably tried the open beta earlier this month, but don't forget, Resident Evil RE Verse will be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. Yeah, the franchise has also you. inspired change and evolution in the video game industry as a whole. Let's hear from some industry powerhouses here to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. Ain't nobody playing RE Reverse. Who's playing Resident Evil? I'd Reverse? like to congratulate the Resident Evil team. Mark Cerny. 25 years is a long time. It's been a true pleasure watching Capcom embrace new technologies and find new ways to advance storytelling and gameplay over the last four console generations. And I can't wait to see what Resident Evil Village will be like on PlayStation 5. Biohazard 25年おめでとうございます. Bio 1が出た時、初代プレイステーションの売り上げがバーンと伸びたのを思い出します。本当嬉しかったです。そしてバイオ7ではPSVRでVRの素晴らしい体験を届けていただきました。ありがとうございます。そしてコンドのビレッジ、本当に楽しみにしています。ますます進化し続けるバイオハザード、これからも応援します。
Hello, I'm Ashley Swodowski. I'm the character art director at Naughty Dog. Uh, I wanted to first congratulate all of the developers um, for 25 years uh, of amazing, amazing Resident Evil titles. Um, I hope that no matter what game you touched or what part of the game you were responsible for, um, you've brought inspiration to so many people over the years, myself included. So thanks so much guys. And again, congratulations. Hello, my name is Siobhan Reddy and I am the studio director at Media Molecule. I uh, wanted to start out by saying huge congrats to everybody who's ever worked on a Resident Evil game. Um, you had me at day one um, with your incredible franchise. Um, I hope you're super proud of yourselves um, and um, you know, really enjoying kind of seeing well, you know, seeing how your beloved franchise has sort of developed over over the, the, these last 25 years. It's awesome. So huge congratulations to all of you. Hi everyone, I'm Hiroyuki Kobayashi, producer on live action and anime entertainment for Resident Evil. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the series. Having worked as a programmer on the first title and as producer on several titles over the years, it's amazing to see how far the franchise has come. It's a brand name that you hear even in the movie business, and it's thanks to the love and support from the fans. To all of you, thank you so much. Now, we have something new to show you today from one of our latest projects. Please sit back and enjoy. That's crazy. World Combat is going to be 30 years old in two years, and Capcom is 25 comes out in July. What did you think? I'm happy we're finally able to share the latest trailer for Resident Evil Infinite Darkness with you today, starring Leon and Claire. It takes place in 2006, approximately two years after the events of Resident Evil 4. A zombie outbreak is happening in the White House, and the president is none other than the father of Ashley Graham from Resident Evil 4. He's just one of the many characters that we'll be introducing along the way, so please stay tuned. Resident Evil Infinite Darkness will be airing on Netflix worldwide in July 2021. Well, he and said, I have one more build. announcement for you related to the live action reboot of Resident Evil. Filming in Toronto has wrapped up and we're in the middle of creating the creatures in CGI. So please stay tuned for more information, including the release date. Until next time, thank you for watching. Okay. Damn, so I mean, we might see Ashley again. We haven't seen Ashley since 2000 something. When she was in uh, Resident Evil 4. Since we're going to see her dad, we, we might see Ashley again. That's pretty cool. On behalf of everybody here at Behavior, congratulations well, I on 25 years of horror. Over the years, our very own 4v1 multiplayer action game, Dead by Daylight, has become the Hall of Fame of horror. And today, I'm excited to say Resident Evil will soon be joining our universe. Now tune in to our 5th anniversary broadcast on May the 25th for the full reveal of the Resident Evil chapter coming to DVD this June. And in the meantime, if you're up for it, I suggest you get some practice in before the chapter comes into the fog. Because look, you have two choices here. Kill or be killed. It's your call. Damn. What up, Jack, man? Hey, TX, thanks for the tip, for bro. Showcase. I'm read that in Let's a second. Let's recap the exciting news from today's event. Resident Evil Village releases on May 7th, and a demo experience will be available for a limited time each week leading up to the game's launch. PlayStation owners can pre-download the demo starting today. The Mercenaries mode was also announced with a first look at gameplay. This fan favorite will be included with the game. And finally, to celebrate 25 years of the franchise, we have Resident Evil Infinite Darkness coming to Netflix, and new upcoming collaborations with partners outside of Capcom. Thanks again for spending some time with us today for another exciting showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and it's it? been an honor being here with you again and hosting this event. Have a great day. That yeah, wasn't a bad showcase. 
wasn't a bad showcase. Bye bye. Or was it? We did. <laughs> Another time. Yo, rest in peace to that lady right there. She's the one who played that vampire. She just passed away not too long ago. All right, so we're definitely uh, all in for that. Shout out to TX Gamer. He dropped the ten dollars super chat. He says, "Don't play Resident Evil Reverse, y'all." I tried for the myself, and it is not good. Capcom needs to stop making multiplayer games that don't make sense with Resident Evil. Yeah, I already knew that was gonna be trash to begin with. Um, let me go back here for a second. Hold up, that Netflix TV series, uh, right here. Hey, Leon. This actually got much more interesting to me now because I didn't think this was going to take place with Ashley's father. So more likely, we'll probably see Ashley again. That I'm not really hyped for the movie, for those of you wondering. I'm, I'm not hyped for the movie. They said it's going to be, you know, we're going to get more context that going forward, but I, I really don't care about the movie. The movie could be um, more likely, probably be cringe. So I'm not worried about the movie. Well, but I'm happy to we are getting early the access to the demo, demo which will is be going to be another cool thing access by access to the village section first, There's followed by the castle section. For the Ari access players, feel free to also stream and share your playthrough to the world. Down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Yeah, that was a nice little surprise there when you find out he killed Mia. Uh, so that that kind of, that confirmed our uh, suspicions. I Mia's dead, and room. more than likely, um, more than likely they probably took his son or something or his daughter, and she probably wants to turn that kid into a vampire. Maybe, maybe that's what's going on here. So, oh, no. that was a cool little point there. Who is? What the hell was that? It looks good though. I'm actually interested in this. Looks Stop really good. Stop shouting! Up, dude? You'll draw the monsters. Tell me yeah, you are, what though. is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Yeah, her brother's the werewolf king. I guess. Let's see how special you are. <laughs> Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! <laughs> we can bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half! Tomorrow we're all yeah, I did see the umbrella sign in, in no, the crash too. I did see that. Chris, what the I'm hell? guessing uh, they were not experiments, but Ethan um, Winters. Ethan Winters, Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Yeah. Really good showcase, man. I enjoyed all the announcements. Minus one, which was the Resident Evil verse. Don't really care about that. The movie, um, I guess, you know, I hold off judgment till we see, like, the trailer and everything. But um, they said their production's pretty much done. They're now doing the monsters. So that's going to be interesting how they do that. But, um, yeah, the game looks good. May 1st, uh, PS5 and 4 users get the demo first. So we'll be able to play 60 minutes, and I'll be streaming that on May 1st. And we can download that right now. So that's going to be cool. I can pre-download that on the system and be ready to go on the 1st. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, nah, Microsoft gets, they get the demo too, but Sony gets some special stuff. So they said that we have access to either the castle or the, the village in the demos, and we get 60 minutes. So it's a 60 minute demo. I'm guessing it's like Resident Evil 2. You guys remember how Resident Evil 2 first came out? We had that little 60 minute demo, and then like it cut off after a certain point, and then it was done. So. 
it's literally uh, it's pro- it's more like the exact same thing. So once the sixty minutes is done, you won't be able to replay it again. It'll pretty much be just dead on the console or whatever. So I think that's how they're gonna do it again, just to stop people from uh, you know exploring as much as they possibly want in the game. So that's more like what's gonna happen. It looks good though. Mercenaries is back. Um, if they had another character, like for example, if they if they was to let you play as um, Chris, they could have brought back that other game mode from Resident Evil Four. Y'all remember that game mode, Separate Ways, where you played as Ada Wong in Resident Evil uh, Four? That would have been a cool option to bring back there too with mercenaries, but they didn't do that. So, what we're looking at here is Chris is probably he's not the villain. Obviously, I think it's just it's other stuff he's he's uh, doing prevent, but we know who the villains are, so that's really cool. What's up, Daniel? Uh, we pretty much finished it, Daniel. You can watch the replay. We we went we watched the whole show. It was a pretty good showcase. Pretty pretty quick. It wasn't really super long. They didn't bore us. They didn't go over the top at all. Really cool announcements. So Capcom, they doing a thing with Resident Evil. Now I'm just waiting for Dino Crisis. If they give us Dino Crisis. I'll be one happy Capcom fan. But right now, uh, that's pretty much it. I don't want to drag this one out anywhere further. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed this, hit the like button. I will see you guys tomorrow for RGT Podcast episode 151. We got the one and only Solid Rev coming through. So y'all make sure y'all tune in. It's going to be a good show. And um, I'll be on Press Start Podcast later on today. So I'll see you guys there if you guys want to go over there on Kofi's channel. But y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. All right. <clears throat>